This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at particles and simulators in Apple Motion 5.4. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how the gravity and edge collision simulators work. So now we have an arrow. And for those of you who are watching with a special care, you're going to look at this and say, Larry, that, uh, that arrow is not moving. <laughs> and you're right. In order for us to be able to do anything with simulations or motion, we've got to get it to move. And the easiest way to get something to move is to apply a basic motion throw behavior. What a throw behavior does, and I open the HUD, keyboard shortcut is F7, it allows me to point in a direction and say, move in that direction. The speed that it moves is based upon the distance out from the center. The red line represents the motion path, and if I hold the shift key down, it constrains the motion path to a 45 degree angle. I want the speed of this arrow to be so that when I start here, when it gets to the end of the effect, when my 10 seconds is up, it ends pretty much at the edge of the frame. I don't really care precisely where it ends because I'm about to totally mess it up. But at least now we have a constant velocity of the arrow moving across the screen. Hmm. Except nothing ever travels in a horizontal line. If you were to try jumping in the air, you wouldn't fly off the face of the planet because gravity would pull you down. So I'm going to select my arrow here. Let's hide the inspector so we can see this is an incredibly dramatic effect. And go to a whole new category inside motion called simulations. We're going to look at a lot of these today. The one I want to start with is gravity. When I apply gravity, look what happens. The gravity is pulling my spaceship down. This is terrible. In fact, if I show the HUD, the amount of the gravity is based upon its acceleration. And notice that it starts slow and gradually speeds up. Why? Because as gravity grabs you, it pulls you down faster and faster. Hmm. Huh except my spaceship disappeared off the end of the frame. If it was hitting the surface of a planet, it would bounce. So we're going to add another behavior under simulations. It's called edge collision. <laughs> Watch this. And it starts to fly down, gets close to the ground, and boom, bounces back up again. Except... It should be flying off into space. It shouldn't bang its nose against the right edge. It should only hit, I mean, you don't bang yourself against the nose of space. You only bang your nose against the ground. So this collision is not necessary. Let's open up the inspector. With edge collision selected, notice that I can specify where edges exist. I don't want it to bounce when it hits the left face or the right face or the top face. I just want it when it hits the bottom face. And if I'm in 3D, the back and the front face, which I don't care about. So now when I play this, notice that my spaceship is flying down to the planet's surface and bounces back up. And then it flies off again or hits the water or it's a rock skipping across the surface of a pond. But don't you think it should follow the direction of the movement? I should, I should add a keyframe, which allows me to rotate the arrow so the arrow follows the path, except the path is curved. That is not an easy set of keyframes to set. I want to have it, well, short answers, we've got another simulation. Go up to Behaviors, go to Basic Motion, and Snap Alignment to Motion, and change the axis from Horizontal to Vertical. And now... My arrow curves in the direction that it's traveling, bounces off the surface of the water, and flies back up and flies off again. Is that not cool? <laughs> we added a throw behavior to give it some movement. We added a gravity simulation to imply the acceleration that gravity provides. Then we added edge collision, so it bounced when it hit the ground and turned off everything except the bottom plane, and then added snap alignment to motion, so our spaceship would be able to follow the direction that it's moving. Isn't that cool? 
This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at particles and simulators in Apple Motion 5.4. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 247. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times every month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.